Welcome to Epicor Eclipse ERP end of month report series. This presentation will cover the commissions report, which is used to calculate sales commissions due. As with most predefined Eclipse reports, there are probably hundreds of variations just to this one report. And we're not going to cover all that because you'd slip into a coma and I probably wouldn't enjoy it a whole lot either. So we're just going to cover a few of the major variations, uh, some very simple reports that will give you hopefully some useful information, and of course play with the reports and come up with your own variations as needed. In my situation, once a month, at the end of the month, or I guess the beginning of every month, uh, we run the commission report and we run it uh, usually about three different ways. Uh, we'll do a summary report for the outside sales force uh, just as a quick executive snapshot. Then we'll do a detail on the outside sales force and then we'll do a detail on the writer. Um, and the, the writer we use because it seems to be more uh, accurate than using the uh, inside sales uh, meant to, to capture uh, the commission for the inside sales force. Um, anyway, as you can see, there's lots of variations to this. Uh, in this particular case, we're just doing a summary outside sales. We only want to cover that uh, invoice, uh, you know, what we've billed out. And there, when you go to run the report, uh, the last thing that's going to prompt you on is the display cost that you want to use. And you want to use the generic cost when you're doing the commissions report because the generic cost, which will go by several different names in your system, in our system we call it calc cost for calculated cost, but this is the commission cost. This is the typically the pricing basis cost and also the basis that's used for calculating the commissions on. Uh, so we'd want to use that and not the cost of goods sold, which would give us a, a very different number in most cases. The, a lot of the reports in Eclipse uh, how, allow you to create templates uh, to shorten up the fields or change around the fields a little bit uh, in the report. Uh, this is one of them. So uh, we're just going to run the default, but keep in mind that uh, you can create a, a uh, template uh, or alter the company template and shorten up uh, or slightly rearrange the uh, information that's on this report. And showing you how to do a commission report is kind of useless unless I spend a couple minutes explaining how you go about setting up commissions and some of the things that will affect the commissions. So here you see where you go about to create a commission plan and I don't think there's a limit to how many different plans you can have. So you go ahead and create the, the plan as needed here and it's got uh, it's got some interesting parameters to tweak a little bit. In some cases you perhaps only want to pay a commission if there's a certain GP dollar or GP percentage uh, that they've already hit uh, or some other uh, little minor parameters and that would be done when you set up the plan, give it a name and all that good stuff. So this uh, example plan that you're seeing here is pretty straightforward. It's just going to pay a commission on uh, a flat rate uh, regardless of what the what the sale was provided. It's uh, positive. Our system is set up to not allow uh, sales of anything below at least 7%. So we, we know the sale is going to be at least that. And uh, you also may have outside sales force that are getting a monthly draw and you can program that in so that's automatically deducted from the calculations you don't accidentally overpay and forget to draw every month and so you'll see that uh, down on the lower end here on commissions draw maintenance. Once you have the commission plan set up then you will want to go into user maintenance and you want to assign the plan to the particular salesman uh, of course, in the options, you're going to want to make sure that this, this user is flagged as a salesperson, so they'll show up in reports, and then the commission plan, you'll assign the plans. Uh, apparently, you can assign several different plans to a particular 
salesman, which would make sense. And of course, if you do that, you have to keep in mind when you're running commissions that you don't uh, over overpay by not filtering out the plans that you didn't want to pay on. Uh, anyway, so you can see this is straightforward in user maintenance. Not a whole lot of surprises. Then finally, in customer maintenance, you'll want to assign the outside salesperson uh, to the customer, and that completes the circle. Now we have created the plan, we've set the draw if there is one, we've assigned the plan to the salesman, we've set the salesman as a salesman, and now we've assigned the customer to the salesman, so that hooks everything up nice and neat. Now next we'll cover uh, some of the things that will affect the calculations of the commission. So within the customer job account, they've put several parameters in there that you can do that will tweak how the uh, sales orders for this particular job or customer will calculate out. Uh, the first of them would be a uh, commission override, which you can see under the additional menu. And that uh, apparently allows you to set a straight percentage for a uh, writer inside or outside uh, overriding whatever uh, commission settings that you've done at the uh, salesman level. The next thing off the menu is you may have an account that you're splitting commissions across uh, several different salesmen, so you can go ahead and set the split commissions percentage. Now this is not a cascade down thing uh, so much. I mean, if you put this at the uh, bill to level and you create a new job attached to this, uh, this split commissions or override parameters will probably carry through. But uh, as with most things in Eclipse, uh, once bill twos and once jobs are already set up, changing any parameters in any of them will not affect the other ones. So if you need to do this type of split, you'll have to go into every associated job and do that split as well. Uh, that deficiency works to your advantage, so you don't accidentally um, impose a parameter across all of the related accounts when you really only meant to affect one. Uh, the other place uh, where you can possibly alter things in the customer maintenance is under additional customer information, and here apparently you can assign the commission a different commission plan than the commission plan that's normally assigned to the salesman uh, and have it have effect on sales in this job. So keep those in mind in case your numbers don't quite pan out. You'll want to look in, in here in the customers and see if you've put some parameters in that you forgot about. You can affect commission calculations on a one-time only basis from within the sales order as well. If you make that change, it will affect that sales order and every generation of that sales order, but only that sales order. And once this is all done, all the other sales orders will operate as normal, of course. Uh, the first thing that you would do uh, would be possibly assigning a different outside salesperson. Now keep in mind you have to have the right authorization keys or it's not gonna let you reassign the uh, salespeople. But if you are in a sales order and you go into the header and you have the right authorizations, then you can change the outside salesperson who's going to get credit for this particular sale and obviously the commissions will affect that way. And finally within the sales order you also have uh, going to the header and selecting edit off the menu you can set the split commission parameters on the sales order in here as well. Uh, as with the other ones it will only affect this sales order and every successive generation of just this sales order and nothing else. And here is our example summary outside sales report. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. The information that's on there is what you would expect to see. There are a few more columns in here than what people might otherwise uh, use. And uh, this is just using the default template. So odds are you'll probably take the company template and remove some of the columns that you don't care about. Uh, notice the draw amount column in the report as we said if there was a draw uh, amount set up for this particular salesman you'd see that show up there and the commission due would be uh, reduced by whatever that draw amount was. Next is the example of a uh, writer or inside salesperson detail report 
And as I said, at least in my cases, when trying to run this report on just inside salespeople, it gives me a lot of extraneous, erroneous, slightly misleading information. And so I've discovered over the years that running the writer report to try and capture the inside sales uh, people for their commissions uh, is a much more accurate way of doing it. And is this when we're also going to use the ger generic uh, or commission costs and we're going to use the default template uh, but this time we're doing a detail report on writer. And here's our example writer or inside salesperson detail report and the type of format we would expect. As with the other ones I use the default template and as we mentioned you, you see here looking in the report there's several columns that are blank Yes, they don't apply here. So as you can see in your cases, you'll probably want to take the company template and remove out the columns of the information that you don't need. Uh, as always, uh, viewing these reports uh, from within the uh, hold file uh, gives you the ability to uh, click in the hyperlinks and drill down into the individual invoices to see what happened if you see something that doesn't quite match up right and you may do some spot corrections to correct the report. And this report uh, downloads fairly cleanly in um, CSV or tab separated file format to import into Excel and clean up, remove the extraneous stuff, and then you have your uh, commission report all ready to pay off your commissions to your Salesforce. And this completes our presentation on the end of month sales commissions report and some of its minor variations. Hopefully this information will provide uh, use to you. And as always, I am not Scott Zahn.